hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video guys i'm going to show you how to fix cannot verify identity this apple id is not active so if you're getting this error while trying to reset your password or while trying to sign in your apple id that you have not used in long time but now you're getting this error cannot verify identity this apple id is not active let me show you how you can fix this problem so before we start the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos the first step is make sure that you have VPN in your iPhone. So if you're living outside of the United States or United Kingdom, then you have to download the VPN. So I've already downloaded the VPN as I live outside of the United States. Simply open your VPN and then you have to connect the VPN to the US or UK server in order to fix this error. Then make sure that you choose USA server. Now as I have selected Atlanta. Now just let it connect. So once you are connected with VPN, then simply go to Safari browser and first of all search for my location and then go to this website mylocation.org. Then you have to make sure that you are connected with the United States server. So as you can see now I'm connected with the United States server. Make sure that you are connected to the VPN, then search for Apple Sport. then simply you can click on my sport scroll down and here you will see get sport click on start now scroll down and click on more again scroll down then simply type here anything like i forgot Then you can press return button then scroll down and here you will see the two options make sure that you click on messages and then click on open and if the open is not working you can click on this close icon and then you can click on go to your chat with iMessage and here you can send them a message to be more specific simply send them a screenshot of your error so once you have sent them a screenshot then let them know that you are facing this issue and in a few seconds you will be connected to the apple advisor and your problem will be solved so hope this video helps thanks for watching subscribe